Hey yo everyone, this is the Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another walkthrough of episode for the game, Game Phoenix Right Ace Attorney. Anyway, I've gone yawn so far far into into this uh, portion of the trial with a couple of mistakes. So I gotta play my cards right. Or I'm gonna have to start all over, so let's see the event unfold. I believe your time's up. My my time's up. Sorry, Raito, but I'm having lunch with the district attorney general after this. We have to get going if we're uh, going to make it in time for the early bird special. But but the cross examine but the cross examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier. A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapon? Like the uh, right to refuse to testify, I'm invoking that right now. What? That's not a right to be casually invoked. What? That's not a right to ca be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. So, you're going to just run away after all this? Run away! Don't make me laugh, Worthy. I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence that you you would have presented it by now. Well, I. You think I had long to dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright, you, your honor, do you have any concrete proof, proof that you can't murder Detective Goodman and made Miss Guy dispose of his body? Do I have any concrete proof? Have no proof yet or present evidence. I'll try to have no proof yet, but try anything. I can't let him just squirm his way out of this. I've got to keep the pressure on. Yes, Your Honor, I do have such evidence. Then, then please hurry up and present it. Just remember, it better pro prove Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman beyond a shadow of a doubt. Lefty, 
Is this evidence? It's proof as to whether or not it's enough to demonstrate the chief's guilt. I'll let you be the judge. But I am the judge. Oh, right. Well, what do you think, Your Honor? What do you think, Mr. Wright? Is I'm going to be late for my meal? Uh, I guess it wasn't enough. Please, Your Honor, give me just a little longer to consider. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damien Gantz, the current chief of police. I'll just say I have no proof yet. It's no use showing evidence. I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Huh. See, Uggy? In that, in that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the Chief. What? I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Uggy, I'll leave the rest to you. I warned you. I warned you earlier, Mr. Rice. This is an affront to a senior officer in our na nation's law. Law enforcement agency. Wah! Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edwards, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't ha yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth? Another witness? In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. But Chief Gann has invoked his, his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else, one more witness who can answer all the questions. Raised in this trial, someone right in this very room. Mr. Edwards, who is this person? Huh. <laughs> Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling the wit witness today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls for... The defendant! Miss Lana Sky! She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 p.m. on February 21st. Her task is to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders, Mr. Mr. Edgeworth! The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take this final recess for the day. 
In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court is now in re Hold on! Look! Chief Gant! I thought you were going to eat! Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there, there will be terrible consequences. That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Ah! This isn't good. Of course, you did never support such outrageous claims anyway. Right? Just something to think about. Alright then. I've got a lunch date to be. Okay, if there aren't any further objections, this court is now in recess. February 25th, 204 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Shoot. That long. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. That chief! He's something else, eh, pal? Detective Gumshoe. Ha 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 ha! I'm not a detective anymore! Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've already decided where to work now. At your office! My office? Sure. I'll take that plug, place of that top naughty girl you used to work with. Could he mean... Maya? Still, looks like we're all out of moves now. Chief Gant's done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? It's not fair he has the right to refuse to testify. <laughs> Settle down, right? Remember what the judge said. But Chief, that is not the, a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. What do you mean by that? It's simple. If the chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You mean he forfeits his right to ha say anything too? Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in a medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow... Relief. Relief? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man. And she did it all. Just to protect me. Ever since her, appo ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders. She must have shut herself up deep in thought. To force herself to do anything and everything that Chief told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I, I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now! If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal! Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery, but he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I... I see. Well, we better get back. It's time for the final act. Emma, why don't you weigh in... Here? No, I'm going with you. I want to be there. When Lana tells the truth... Let's go, right? It's almost uh, time... It's time to end it. To be continued, baby. February 25th, 2.21 p.m. District Court, courtroom number 9. Well, it's not nice to see you. 
Now then. Now then. Will this offend Miss Lawrence Guy, please take the stand. Miss Lawrence, Miss Lawrence Guy, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Guy, and remember. You are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course. The truth. Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Gam. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gam. Gant in the fabrication. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to, th to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Hmm. Are you sh are you sure about this testimony, Your Honor? I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course, I'm sure. But Lana, if this is true, then that means the chief can has nothing to do with this. That's why I've been trying to telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks uh, stifling like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. I worked alongside Gant for years. How many years exactly? Ever since I made senior detective. Let's see, I was 24 then, so th that would be five years. Detective Gann and Detective Sky Detective Gann and Detective Sky were legendary partners. I personally saw them testify in numerous cases. She must have been good coming from the same school as Mia. Damon Gann was a respectable detective, that's why. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. But think about it, Miss Guy. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me so as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Wright? Any testimony you cannot present in court is as useless as idle gossip. I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. And I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Did you do uh, do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. But what she did, it was justifiable self-defense. She wouldn't have been charged with anything. That's not the point. She was traumatized that day all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. Lana. So that's... So, that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago! When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the scene of the crime? It seemed I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor who awarded a knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? But Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Rice, but I'll never change this, this statement. 
You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Stark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Stark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. All just to protect me. So, when you found a scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke off the tip of Stark's knife and planted it inside her wound when Mo then moved the body. You planted the tip of Stark's knife, knife within the victim's body, and then you moved the body? But why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask her for the sake of others. When you showed up on the scene, what, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gant's death. But the body was found by your death. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason this guy moved the body was the pieces of the, the jar that shattered during the event threatened my plan. of the jar, you mean? Yes, that wretched jar Mr. Wright showed us earlier. In order to show that Stark committed the crime, I felt it would be more expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course, it had already... It had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. Neil Marshall was dead and Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during the struggle. I see! What's the matter, Emma? Apparently, the jar shattered at the time of the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there is more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. My only motivation was to get started. So you re rearranged the crime scene. Are you sure you didn't do this to keep Emma from looking like the murderer? How many times do I have to tell you, Mr. Wright? Emma didn't do it, period. Are you so desperate to hide the, that fact? You're willing to risk the death sentence? She's lying. She did it so, so I wouldn't be blamed for what happened. In any case, as, as a prosecutor, what I've done is unpardonable. There is nothing I could do to make up for my actions. Mr. Wright, my sister's lying! Looks like she's determined to protect you to the end. She insisted that she fabricated the evidence by herself. There's no way she could ha have done it alone. I've got to get Lana to talk more. If she's lying, then she's bound to slip up and make a contradiction.
Can I at least save at this uh, part just so? In case I get game over along the way, at this uh, part I can always try again. Run my plan. Hey look there, it's hard to make it out, but there's a dark red stain here. Hmm. Looks like blood. This place this piece of uh, the this piece the chief has to has is different though. The blood stains on the other piece are just spawn. But that's one line. But this one's a line. That is on. This is it's a hand print, right? Yeah. Someone left it behind a behind an oil stain on the fabric. Whoever it was, they must have really had oily hands. Mr. Wright, think about it scientifically, huh? A more likely explanation is the person slipped and fell on the freshly waxed floor. Gang waxed all over their hands. Well, that would account for this amount of oil, I guess. I don't see what's so scientific about it, though. It happens, you know. I always slip on the floors at school after they're waxed. Present the right evidence down. So I'm going. So it's going to be trial and error here.
No, even the evidence list doesn't help. Well, there goes all my five strikes. This court no longer sees the first one. Well, thanks for uh, watching. I'll try try again in the ne next episode. So said, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.